Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is the first lecture of this graph theory part two series. And in this lecture, we are going to study minimum spanning trees. So again, what is a minimum spanning tree? You are given a graph, a weighted graph this time. That is, each edge this time has certain weights. So now you have to find the minimum spanning tree of this graph. That is, you have to find a tree. Uh, you have to make a tree of this graph by removing some of the edges such that the sum of the edges of the tree is minimum and of course the graph must be connected after removing the edges so if you see this is the minimum spanning tree out of this graph so what we have done we have uh, removed some of the edges such that the graph still is connected of course a tree means connected graph with no cycle so now we have a tree which I guess some of the edges are 27. So this is minimum because uh, this is MST because the sum of the edges is minimum. What we can do, we can uh, remove two and uh, if you remove two, then there will be two connected component. This one to six would be in same connected component and three, four, five would be in another connected component to make those two connected. Either you can edge this edge or this edge or this or this. But out of those, only nine is a minimum. That is why we are we are having nine here. And you can try out different combination in a spanning tree. In fact, in a tree which is connected, if there are n nodes, then there are n minus one edges. As you can see, there are like six, uh, uh, six nodes. So in the spanning tree, we are having five edges. And the sum is minimum. That is why this is MST. So let's see how we can calculate and tell the total sum of the edges in the MST. So we will be using Kruskal's algorithm for calculating MST. Kruskal's algorithm is a greedy based algorithm and what it says is that in first step, uh, first of all this is the input for this graph A and B and W. So A and B are nodes and W is their weight. So one is connected to two with an edge 9 so one is connected to 2 with an edge 9 and uh, that is the input for the whole graph now what Kruskal says uh, uh, according to Kruskal's algorithm first we sort the input edges based on their weights so this is the sorted input uh, based on their weights so the minimum weight was 1 and the edges between 3 and 5 so 3 and 5 are connected with edge of length 1 or weight 1 now after sorting the edges uh, we start with a graph which is disconnected or basically the graph contains n connected component each node is a different connected component and we have the sum sum of the total MST now what we do we start from the first edge and go uh, and traverse the whole list and see whether we have to edge or uh, we have to include this edge into our MST or not so we are on the first edge which says 3 and 5 are connected with uh, weight 1. So in this graph you see whether 3 and 5 are already connected. So we can see 3 and 5 are not connected. So we would include this edge into our MST and add 1 to our MST sum. Now we would move on to the second edge which says 2 and 4 uh, with weight 2. We would see whether 2 and 4 are already connected. So 2 and 4 are not connected. So we would add this edge in our MST and increment the sum by 2. Now 1 and 6, again 1 and 6 are not connected, so we would connect them and add, add this sum, sorry, add this weight to the total sum. So currently we are having 3 edges with total sum 9. Now we'd move on to 1, 2, that is node 1 and 2. So since node 1 and 2 are not connected, so we would add an edge and not connected means there is no way you can reach from node 1 to node 2. So 1 and 2 are not connected, so we would add an edge and then increment the sum by 9. Now 3 and 4. Again 3 and 4 are not connected, so we would add the edge 3 and 4 and increment the sum by 9. Now this one, 4 and 5. Since 4 and 5 are connected, connected in the sense because uh, you can reach node 5 from node 4. So this is the way. Or you can reach node 4 from node 5, like this. So since node 4 and 5 are connected, Kruskal says we don't need this edge. Now, uh, what's the proof that we don't need this edge? To prove this fact, 
uh, I will advise you to prove this by contradiction, but I will show you just why we don't need this edge. So suppose we are uh, in the optimal solution, we needed this edge. So in optimal solution, we added this edge, this and with weight 10. Now since there was already a path from 4 to 5 and adding an edge of 4, 5 would create a cycle because you were already having a, a path and now this provides this edge provides a, an alternative path from node 4 to 5 which means there are two paths and hence there is a cycle. Uh, since there is a cycle so in the cycle you can remove a single edge so it would again become a tree. Now to make this tree um, MST we have we should remove from all these edges the one which is having a highest weight now since all the other edges except this 4 5 this node uh, sorry this edge that we added just now except that edge all the edges have been added before it right so since all the edges have been added before it the rest edge the all the other edges must be having weight less than this because all the edges are sorted according their, uh, to their weight so this edge must be having the highest weight so we must remove this in order to make this an MST so what happened here we added this edge and again we have to remove this because uh, this forms a cycle and to make a cycle or uh, to remove a cycle and make it a tree we have to remove an edge from the cycle and to remove an edge since we want to make it a a minimum spanning tree that is we want the sum of the edges to be minimum we would remove the 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 edge with which which is having highest weight and since the current edge that you added that caused the the cycle the formation of a cycle is actually the edge we have to remove so there is no point adding this edge into our graph it if uh, there is all uh, already existing path between the node a b so that is why we don't need this edge and that is why if two nodes are already connect, uh, connected we don't need to add it in the MST. So that is why 4 and 5 this edge would be discarded. Then same goes for 4 and 6 because there is already a path from 4 and 6. If you add this 11th uh, this edge with weight 11 all you have to do is remove this again. So there is no point adding this. So that is why 4 6 won't be added so goes for 2 3 because 2 and 3 are already connected so we won't add this we won't add this so finally our mst will look uh, will look something like this with a total sum 27 and finally we would return the sum 27 so this is how we would calculate the uh, the total sum of weight weights of all the edges in the mst using kruskal's algorithm as you can see this is a very a literally very easy algorithm to be implemented in the next lecture we uh, i'll take an example problem and implement this using uh, dsu so you if you have no idea about uh, the data structure disjoint set data structure so i'll ad uh, advise you to go check out that uh, ds data structure uh, because i have already made a playlist for uh, dsu data structure so you can check out that before i release the next video uh, for the implementation of cross calls because we are going to need dsu so go learn that and if you already uh, know how dsu works so you are good to go so till the next video grab just keep coding thank you